apoptosis from the neuromodulator. So this is the outline of my presentation. So botulinum toxin A complications can be divided into functional and aesthetic complications. So the functionals is affect your general health or distort the activity. And in the aesthetic complications, either the aesthetic goal is not achieved or there are uh, imbalance or new distortion in patient appearance is created. So the, this is the list of the botulinum toxin A complications. So we have two transient stosis, the eyelid and the eyebrow. So ptosis is also referred to blepharotosis or eyelid ptosis. So today we will focus on the ptosis. So this table explains the incidence of botulinum toxin complications. So the most common is headache. And the percentage incidence of blepharotosis is quite low. It's around 0.3%. In a multicenter study, the botulinum toxin induced blepharotosis is was estimated around 5.4% among inexperienced injectors and less than 1% among inexperienced injectors. So first we will discuss about the eyelid anatomy. So let's take a look of the diagrams of the Asian eyelid anatomy. So the one responsible for upper in, in the meantime, if uh, any of the attendees has questions, you can feel free to type into the chat box and then we will bring all the questions to uh, ask all the speaker at the end of the session. Thank you. Okay, for thank you for inviting me to talk about this. Uh, how can we deal with the patient that not less want to botulinum toxin? And for my question is none. And let me introduce you a bit on the botulinum toxin. As I think you already quite well known about the botulinum toxin, but so far in the market, we have botulinum toxin with the neuro associate protein, or we call it complexing protein. Here is a nap. And so in Thailand, we have the ona botulinum toxin, abo botulinum toxin, let the botulinum toxin, and parbo botulinum toxin. That is the botulinum toxin with the nap. And botulinum toxin, the pure one, is without the nap, is the incorporated botulinum toxin. I just give the first. And again, if it's because of botulinum toxin related dysphagia, it could be from localized diffusion. So when the patient has history of injecting on the neck, it could be local effect of diffusion, injecting too much into the uh, too deep to the platyspa, to the muscles that can cause neck flexion weakness, so which is the supra hyoid, cricho, thyroid, and hypocostal muscles. But the other thing that you need to really um, pay attention or be aware of it is the systemic side effect, like botulism. But if the patient has botulism, the patient might always have systemic symptoms. For example, the blur vision, ptosis, or bulbar nerve dysfunction. It's not only dysphagia, but also dysarthria and dysphonia along with dysphagia. So uh, when you need to like, you know, find out or you need to uh, send the patient to the invest for the in investigation, you have to consult ENT doctor and the doctor will perform what we call fibro-optic endoscopic evaluation of swallowing or if EES. So by far, like, you know, there is a, camera pull into the, to examine all the esophagus, all the, the function. And in this patient, we find the mild spillage of both semi-solid and liquid diet. So which means this phagia is there. I, I can't really do it, right? I, 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 th I think we can. Well, can I, I think we, I we can't. I, I, I think we cannot do it. Okay, that's yes. fine. Okay, yes. so then, um, Yes, as Dr. Yuri mentioned, um, but you need to learn something about botulinum toxin. So when you inject botulinum toxin into the area that you want it to target, you know, it's not really whole with the receptor immediately. It takes almost two weeks to, to attack and to grab with the receptor. So which means if you want to do something, you have to do it in two weeks. Mm -hmm. to reverse it because mm -hmm. whenever the receptor has been like you know occupy yes. there is no way that it's going to release mm -hmm. so that is why one of the key message for treatment is you know you have to do it as soon as you notice the complication 
because this is the golden period. There is a lot of doctors who experience like, you know, uh, who experience the complication, but never refer, even though they can't really treat it because they thought that it will go away. It won't, it will even worse. And after you wait till two weeks, you know,